NASA reaches out to the manufacturer of the command and service module, North American Aviation, and together with their contractors, exhaustively test the problem. The results, six hours later, were finally starting to come in. It appears that, for some reason, an electrical circuit in the rate feedback system of the secondary servos had failed to close. The actuators were having trouble exactly determining where the engine bell was pointed. But there was a ray of hope. During a burn, the guidance computer would be able to judge the thrust vector of the spacecraft based on its accelerometers. A judgment is finally made on the ground. While not unanimous, the majority believed that while slightly higher than normal oscillations could be expected, it wouldn't be life-threatening. The word was go for landing. Okay, when you come up on uh, AOS, on the next rev, rev 15, we'll give you a go or no go for another try.